Hey friends, I am thinking it's around 10 o'clock. Um, my clock in my studio runs slow. My phone is set up to video, so I don't know what time it is on there. And I just got rid of my computer and my iPad. I just packed them up. So I'm kind of hoping it's 10 o'clock. I'm kind of guesstimating. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys are out there and ready to come join me for some Stampin' Fun. We are still counting down the end of celebration. Are y'all sick of me yet? I have been here every day this week, and I'm going to continue on every day. So I will be here every day all the way through Sunday. So I'm so glad that you guys are coming and hanging out with me and um, checking out some of my favorite celebration items. So if you're on, give me a like or a love. Let me know that you're there. Of course, we've got Prize Patrol going on, so you wanna make sure that you're commenting and sharing my video, and uh, your name will get entered to win the, the items that I am creating every day when I come on. So um, I have just a couple things we'll share. I'm kind of waiting to see if a couple more folks come on. And um, I will be tomorrow, 10 o'clock, uh, that is Friday, and Saturday, 10 o'clock. Join me. I am actually getting ready to go out the door to my retreat for the weekend, but I did record some videos for you guys of my favorite items. So I used Heal Your Heart, which I absolutely love, as well as I combined that with the Fine Art Floral Designer Paper, which I am a huge fan of. And then I also have um, a video with the donkey. So I will not be live at uh, tomorrow at 10. Uh, wait, where am I at? Today's Thursday, right? I'm losing track of my days. So uh, tomorrow at 10 will be recorded video. It will be on YouTube. All you have to do is hit play. Uh, so it won't automatically tell you that I am live in the studio tomorrow because I, I recorded it. Same for Saturday. So Saturday at 10, there will be a YouTube video um, record. So make sure you guys check those out because I used Heal Your Heart and Darling Donkeys. And then I will be home from my, from my retreat on Sunday. So I'm coming live to wrap everything up, say our final goodbye to celebration, say thank you for your service. We love everything that you had for us and put that to bed Sunday night at six o'clock. I'll be live here in the studio. So we've got some friends on. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Quick reminder, this is kind of the end. We are heading down to close this out. So if you have a few things on your wish list, you wanna grab some celebration items that you didn't get for free, head over to Jody Brackbill's stampinup.net. You use this host code that will end on Sunday. And every 50 and $100 purchase, you're gonna get yourself something for free. Good morning, friends, good morning. Oh, I love seeing you guys come on. It just makes my heart happy. All right, so here's what we're gonna play with today. Uh, do you guys love this black and white paper? It is just stunning. And it's so cool because you can use it straight up black and white or you can add your color to it. You can actually color right on the paper. I love coloring it with blends and uh, also using our blush, not blush, but, um, blending brushes to add some color onto this uh, designer series paper. So this is featured in the JJ Mini kind of with the Valentine-y stuff, but it just goes so well with so many other things. And I just love black and white, L especially love black and white with a little pop of color. So this is a stamp set we're gonna use today, Approaching Perfection. This was probably not my first choice whenever it was time to order. Um, I like it because it's birthdays and that's probably the most cards I send, but it just wasn't one that I grabbed right away. So I got it off the shelf and I was like, okay, let's have a play day, Approaching Perfection. Show me why I love you. So I grabbed the black and white paper and created some cool cards. So let me show you what I got going on today. So we're gonna do some black and white with a pop of color. Got our Highland Heather here, eight and a half by five and a half. I didn't even write that down. Just standard card base, you know, just a standard card base. So we'll fold that in half. That will be our card base. Then I have some gorgeous scrapes. So I love the different colors of purple that we have. I think that just, re they really pair well together. I have, that is five by three and three quarter. And then I cut a piece of the designer series paper here, four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. 
You'll have to hold on for one moment. Bye, babe. Have fun. All right. Sorry, the farmer's leaving and I'm leaving for the weekend, so we had to had to have a little smooch and say goodbye. Gorgeous grape ribbon. I talked over that real fast. You got me all flustered. <laughs> so anyway, back back to stamping. All right, here we go. Gorgeous grape ribbon. You guys, this is back in stock. It is available. It had gone on non-orderable for a little while because we loved it. We love sheer ribbon and grape. Mm, yum. So I just have a little snippet here of that designer, or sorry, of that ribbon. And I'm just going to attach these panels together. Whoops, I'm having a hard time seeing. We've got some sun coming out in the studio and it's glaring right on my camera. So hopefully I'm straight, we'll see. All right, so I'm just gonna add that little snip of ribbon around the back side. Oh, my nose is starting to run. Why does it do that? Oh, it'll come, it'll come. Uh, mine's on the way, Betty. So hopefully yours will arrive soon. I just got a notice that it shipped. So hopefully you'll be playing with that gorgeous grape real soon. I took a piece of basic black. This is cut out of one of the timeless labels. And I cut that out ahead of time. Then I've just got a piece of Whisper White here and I am going to stamp. That is three by one and a half. Not that that really matters because it's just a scrap piece. Um, we'll stamp the Happy Birthday in the gorgeous grape. And I don't know if I said, the designer paper is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. I don't know if I said that. That was probably right when the farmer was coming in. Got me all Twitter pated. All right, so I'm gonna grab our, I think it's this one, stitched oval. And we'll die cut out our happy birthday. So I am going to use the Big Boss today because I'm going to do some embossing. And so I want to make sure uh, my embossing folder will not fit through the baby. So we'll just go ahead and use Mr. Big today. And we'll cut out our happy birthday. We need to move just a little bit. There we go. Pop that out. I was kind of hoping I have everything that I need for today because my car is locked and loaded. It is ready to roll with all of my stuff. And so I kind of had pulled out what I thought I needed for the live today. So we're gonna hope I've got everything, that's for sure. All right, good morning, Beth. Good morning, Loretta. All right, dimensionals I did on that timeless label. And then I'm gonna do some more dimensionals because you cannot have enough pop dots. And I'm gonna attach that to my card. And that's really all there is, just kind of going with black and white today and a little bit of a pop of color. So that's gonna sit right here. Then I'll grab some of my ribbon. I think, let's do a bow. This I like doing bows with the sheer ribbon because it's so easy to work with. And it doesn't get really, really thick. So we'll tie it, see if I can tie a bow today. Not quite sure how I'm, how my fingers are working, but we'll see. Excuse me for my nose running and my Kleenexes are packed. <laughs> I've got everything in the, everything's in the car. I kind of don't know how to act. 
going out in public and seeing some friends. So we keep our group as a nice, small, intimate group. So we are not a real big retreat. Just a couple friends hanging out for the weekend. All right, so let's tie that a little bit tighter. There we go. And I can trim off. If there's any sticking off, I can trim that off. Now, I could add some bling if I wanted to. Um, you could even do some Wink of Stella. Or I grabbed my Stampin' Blends, and there it is, colored. So I used all of the purples. I used Highland Heather. Um, oh, my gosh, my blends are gone, so I don't even know what I used. Highland Heather, Purple Posy, uh, Gorgeous, no, Granny Apple Green, and I feel like I used another. I might have done a little hint of Blackberry maybe. So there you have with, with just straight up black and white. And there you have with colored. So you can kind of go either way. All righty. So let's see. I got a couple more cards for you here. Here's another black and white one. I've got some basic black fold that in half eight and a half by five and a half so that will be our card base I have a piece of whisper white that I am going to run through the embossing machine five and a quarter by four and I chose the Argyle embossing folder this is one that I have not used very often and so we're going to use that one today. It is a 3D embossing folder, which means I need plate one and plate four. So that gray plate. If you at home have the blue plate, that's the one that you'll use. The blue plate and the gray plate are inter interchangeable. Right, so we've got our argyle here. How pretty is that? Oh, it's stuck in there. There we go. So I can attach that to my card. And the nice thing with this embossing folder, your choice which side you want to use. So you can have a side that looks like this, or you can have the side that looks like this. It all depends on your choice. There is no right or wrong with some of these embossing folders. So ahead of time, I cut out some shapes. So I used our stitched so sweetly dies and cut out these two rectangles. So we're going to attach the white to the black. It's made just to fit right in there. It just kind of nests right in there. Then I've got a piece of designer series paper that is two and one eighth by three and one quarter. That's just going to sit right in here. Now, oh, balls. I know what I don't have. Let's see. All right, we're going to give this a try. I'm going to do something here because all my stuff is packed, you guys. So this is not what you're going to do, but everything is packed in my car and I need, wait, maybe I don't. Do I? I did not do it ahead of time. I need black. All right, so I'm gonna steal it from the center of my punch. All right, so I've got a two and a quarter inch circle. Now that can go back on there. No one will know. Don't tell anyone what I just did. Although you guys know I do this because I'm thrifty, right? I, oh, now I glued it to the table. All right, so there we have a two and one quarter inch punch. I'm gonna stamp in memento black, the sent one of the sentiments from the approaching perfection, and then I'll punch that one out with a two inch punch. So I did have a piece of scrap here. There we go. I'm a little crooked, but that's okay because I can fix it with my punch. No one will know that I stamped a little crooked. And I thought this was, that's a cute little sentiment. All 
All right, so we will attach those two together. The bad news is I forgot your birthday, but the good news is I forgot your age. I thought that was funny. Couple dimensionals on this one. Yeah, well, we definitely want some dimensionals. And I also am gonna put them on the back of this piece as well. All right, so let's put this one on first. Oh, you guys are loving the black and white. Yes, me too. All right, there we go. Then we can put our sentiment right here. Now, out of one of the pieces of designer paper, I just cut out one of these. There is not a die, so I'm just gonna do some quick fussy cut in here and cut out a little black and white flower. So what I'm showing you today is straight up black and white. Then I'm gonna show you some samples that I did where, they, where I added that little pop of color. So you can always, if you like it with a little pop of color, definitely add it, because I do, I do, I love coloring with my blends. And this paper just goes so well for coloring. But you know, it also looks pretty with just the black and white. It just is kind of stunning. little bit out there I might have to come back and work with the with that almost done almost done There we go. Well, let me see if I can cut that little little bit out there. Yep. Okay, so now I'm just gonna have that kind of sit in the corner. So I am gonna put a couple dimensionals on it. I'll stick it down and then see if I need to stick any others. No, I think that's good, okay? So just a very simple black and white card. I like it, I liked it. Then I colored it and I added another set of flowers. So I used the Daffodil, Daffodil Delight and Old Olive and added that pop of color. It really is, there is a huge difference when you do the coloring. It's a labor of love, it's a little time consuming, but it is really, really pretty. All right, kids, I have one more to show you. So we have got, that's thick, so. I want to grab my score tool. I always like to score the Thick Whisper White, or Basic White, I guess it's called now. So I'm going to score, I'm going to put a score in at four and a quarter. <clears throat> there we go. And see what else I have here. Where's, I thought I wrote mine, no, did I not? I must not have for this one. I didn't do a post-it for this one, guys, so sorry. But I've got a piece of basic black that's just our standard uh, four and a quarter by five and then five by three and three quarter I have on this one. Grab two strips of the black and white paper at one inch, so we'll attach that to our white piece. And you could use any of the patterns. Whatever floats your boat, right? All right, so I'm just going to cover it. I'm gonna go right up to the top with the black and white dots, and then I'm gonna add the black and white stripes. Now what I should have done is stamp first, so we're gonna hope I don't have an uh-oh here. 
A lot of times I like to stamp first just in case I have an accident. I didn't ruin my paper, but you know, I'm live stamping for you, so we're gonna get what you get. Okay, so let's do this final stamping from that stamp set. I am gonna try it on here and see. Looks pretty straight. If things really do get better with age, you're approaching perfection. Love it. Love it, love it. So now we can add this panel to our black. Looks like I have a little bit of DSP sticking off so I can snip that off real easily. I don't want them hanging over the edge there. There we are. And then this will go on to our card base. Oh, thanks, Mary. It's years and years of practice and really, really good paper snips. That's what makes fussy cutting look so easy. All right, there we go. So we're gonna fussy cut again and this is just another pattern, some flowers that came out of that paper pack. Um, again, no die cuts, so you do have to do a little fussy cutting, but like I said, the paper snips are the key. I love our paper snips. And I always move my paper. I kind of keep my, keep my scissors still and finagle the paper around a little bit. That's kind of another little trick I use um, when I do some fussy cutting. So it's not terrible. Fussy cutting is not a, a horrible thing. I don't like to do tons of it. Like I wouldn't want to make a thousand of these cards, but it's good for hand-eye coordination, right? Keeps us sharp. So you could definitely, I colored these with blends. I'll show you my pop of color here. Uh, when I'm done color with the blends but this will be really pretty to use those new blending brushes as well and I know they're not orderable right now so hang tight they'll be back in soon the end of the month <clears throat> we should have our blending brushes back sorry that would be the end of March not the end of the end of February sometimes things just get super popular and I knew they were going to be as soon as I saw them. I was like, those are fantastic. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there, kids. There we go. All right, as always, we got to fuss or we got to pop it. Pop her up there. Love dimension. Um... I'm gonna put a bitty one in that little flower. There we go. Okay, so don't forget I'm giving these away. So you guys make sure you like, love, comment, and share, and all the projects I've been giving away, or making this week, I am going to be giving away when I come back next week. All right, so now we wanna add a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. We need a little bit. All right, so we're gonna use the black matte gems. Did you guys get these yet? Ha! Oh, yes. Yeah, Susie, you are so right. She said how easy the blend blending brushes are to clean. They are um, they are you just ran them under water. That's what I do and all the all the um the ink just comes right out. You can also just kind of brush them a little bit on your paper and there we go. Matte black gems. Uh, brush them a little bit on your paper and you can kind of I keep mine very similar colors So like I have one and I can use different shades of yellow one I use different shades of green So I don't get too worried that I have to rinse it after every single time I use them But I do keep them for specific shades, so I don't want to mix my yellow and my green together so matte black gems um, or matte black pearls, maybe they are uh, I feel like they might be non-orderable or back-ordered. I'm not exactly sure, but we are getting more shipments in. Uh, it looks like we have shipments coming the beginning of the month. So I think we shall see them back in again. 
and pop of color. So I, I used magenta madness and some granny apple green and that is my pop of color. All right, so we had our purple, our daffodil delight, and then our magenta. Gorgeous, right guys? And that was approaching perfection. So again, just to recap real quick, kids, I am out of here. I am actually gonna walk out this door. I'm gonna take Mr. Big with me and put him in the car and we gone. So I'm heading out to my retreat, but I did post, I do have videos posted 10 a.m. tomorrow and 10 a.m. Saturday. They are YouTube, so you'll have to click the video to actually start it. It's not as a live stamping, um, but come back and join me Saturday, Sunday evening, Sunday evening at six o'clock. I will be back from retreat. I have some berry blessings I want to share with you and that will be our final goodbye. We are, we are going to put celebration to bed. So thank you guys so much for hanging in there all week and I will see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock.